Today, I'll be snacking up some katsu. It's a Japanese dish of pork cutlets that is breaded with panko breadcrumbs and then fried in oil. It's served with a bit of cabbage, rice, and ton katsu sauce. Instead of rice, I'll be turning this recipe into a spicy sandwich. Get yourself some pork loin. They will be thick, so you're gonna have to beat the meat. Tenderize it, make it easy to cook. If you don't have a meat beater like I do, you can use the other side of the knife and beat it. Just don't beat it too hard. You don't want to ruin the meat. Also, don't worry about the marks. It's going to be battered and deep fried anyways. Give the meat a few small slices on each side so it can cook quickly. You don't want it to be in oil too long because the pan cold breadcrumbs will get burnt. You want a nice golden or brown color in your end product. Now it's time to crack some eggs. Four goes into the bowl, then beat. Four cups of all-purpose flour. Break all the lumpy parts with a fork. And then some pan cold breadcrumbs. I just dumped half the pack in there because that's all I have. No measurements. And then season the pork with some salt and then pepper. Just make some massage and it'll be ready for the flour. Take your cutlet, throw into the flour, and make sure you get full coverage, like a car insurance. You don't want to miss anything. Flake off the excess and throw into your egg mix. Same process. Make sure you get everything wet. This egg will act like glue. So once you push it into the breadcrumbs, it's all gravy from there. Then rinse and repeat with all your cutlets until everything is done. Then you'll be ready for the easy part, which is frying. I prefer to have this meat sit for 10 minutes before frying. I just want everything to be absorbed. So just be patient on that. Turn on your stove above medium heat. Fill the pan with oil, I'd say about halfway. And wait for the temperature to rise to 325 to 350 Fahrenheit. Once you reach that mark, in go your pork cutlets. When frying in a pan, make sure you flip it every other minute so the breading doesn't burn. It's not a deep fryer, so be careful. It's very easy to burn one side if not monitored. So take your time and nurture it. Keep the cutlet in oil for seven to eight minutes, and then from there on, it should be done. Get a plate with paper towels and let the meat cool down. Easy, right? Now ready to repeat with your other meats. I wouldn't worry too much about color as long as the coating is not burnt. That is the main mission. And these came out looking really good too. Now it's time to make some thick sauce. A quarter cut of red onion, finely diced. A quarter cut of white onion, finely diced. Two scotch bonnet peppers, finely diced. And then six pieces of garlic, finely diced. The garlic will be going into the pan with a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna let it cook to a browning and then I'm gonna throw the rest of the chopped products inside. Give it a nice mix and let it cook for five minutes and then simmer. And then katsu sauce. I just dump the whole bottle into the pan and mix it with the rest of the stuff. This is optional. You don't need onions and peppers. You can just use the sauce alone. A slice of iceberg lettuce. It should be cabbage instead, but I love my lettuce. I can't let it go. Plus it's very fluffy, delicious, and easy to cut. I'll be using brioche bread. I honestly just love the soft texture of it. So enjoy whatever you like. On goes the pork cutlet and then some of that sweet and spicy sauce, along with some lettuce and a bit more sauce on top to hold it all together. And then on goes the bread, then squish. There you go guys, a very delicious katsu sandwich. Now, if you wanna make this sandwich look extra pretty, cut off all the corners and then cut the sandwich in half. All the corners will be devoured obviously. This is just an awesome way to make things look good. Besides look, it tastes amazing. I love katsu, chicken or pork. It's simple to make, just takes a bit of patience in the kitchen. So take your time when it comes to creating this beauty. You'll love it in the end. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. I'm going to devour this whole chopping board of tonkatsu. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you got some questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out and much love.